Poker Hand Rankings. So simple, yet so confusing for some. First of all, it's important to note this video will be talking about Texas Hold'em. So, what are the Poker Hand Rankings? Well, to begin, one must understand that a poker hand is comprised of a player's two hole cards which are hidden and private to all other players. In this scenario, these would be the 8 and Deuce of Hearts. It's comprised of these two cards, plus the five community cards in the middle which every player at the table share. Out of these seven cards, a poker hand uses the five best cards available. A player can use both of his whole cards, one of them, or even none of them to make the best hand possible. Now on to the hand rankings themselves. The lowest hand rank is what's called as a high card. This means that out of all the seven cards available to use, the cards do not connect at all, there are no pairs, no straights, no flushes, you'll find out what these mean later, and they are basically seven completely separate cards. In this scenario, the poker hand this player would have would be Ace, King, Jack, Nine, Five, as these are the cards with the highest numerical value in the game of poker, and out of all the seven cards shown, none of them are the same number or link in any way. The next image shows two different players' cards, which in a real game will not be visible to one another. For the sake of this video, whenever comparing two different players' hands, let's say the player with their cards on the left is player 1, and the cards on the right belong to player 2. Which player do you think has the better hand? Both players have a high card because using their own two whole cards, plus the five community cards, they both don't make any pairs or links at all. However, player 1 will form a hand of an ace, king, jack, nine, five, whilst player 2 will form a hand of king, jack, 9, 8, 7. To determine whose high card hand is better, one has to look at who has the highest individual card. In this case, player 1 has an ace in their hand, which is the most valuable individual card in poker, whilst player 2's highest card would be the king, meaning player 1's hand is stronger and more valuable. The second weakest hand class is what's known as a pair. A pair is when out of the 7 cards, 2 of them match, meaning your 5 card hand would comprise of 2 cards that match and three individual cards. In this scenario, our player has a pair of nines, accompanied by a king, a jack, and an eight, as its three individual cards. Pairs follow the same rules as high card, in that a pair of nines is stronger than a pair of fours, as nine is a higher number. The next hand ranking is called two pair or double pair. This is when you have two pairs accompanied by one individual card. On this board, our player's five card hand would have a pair of deuces, a pair of fives, and a jack as its individual card. This next image shows two players' hands once again. It's pretty tricky to decipher which one's better, however at first glance to a beginner, one might think player 1's hand is better, as it has a clear two-pair hand. However, so does player 2. Player 2 has a pair of 9's, a pair of jacks, which is gained through the 5 community cards, accompanied by a 5 high card. Player 1 technically has a 3-pair, however this doesn't exist, as a poker hand only uses 5 cards and not 6. Therefore, player 2 actually has the better hand, because a pair of jacks is better than a pair of 5s, meaning player 2 has the stronger 2 pair hand. Our next hand ranking is when a hand starts to become strong and will win most of the time. It's called 3 of a kind, or trips, which is what most poker players will call it. It is when you have 3 cards that match to one another, accompanied by 2 individual cards. For example, in this image our player has 3 jacks, with a 9 and an ace as its 2 individual cards. In this next photo, our player technically has the exact same hand strength as the previous hand, however the difference is that 2 of the jacks are in his 2 private hole cards with only 1 being a community card. This is what's known as having a set. It has the exact same hand strength as the previous hand, but it is a lot more disguised as an opponent won't think you have 3 of a kind in this scenario. Whereas if two jacks are part of the community cards, it is much more fathomable to assume you have three of a kind. Now we move on to the hand ranks that involve all five cards being linked and not having any individual cards in our hand. This ranking is called a straight and it is when five out of the seven cards available cards are in an order of numerical value. In this example, we use both our whole cards to create the straight of nine, 10, jack, queen, king. It is important to note that an ace can form a straight of 10, jack, queen, king, ace an ace, two, three, four, five, but no other ways. This next hand ranking is the only time when the suits of the cards actually matter. The ranking is called a flush, and it's when your five card hand comprises of five cards of the exact same suit. In this example, our player has a flush with five spades. After this, we move on to what's known as a full house. It's when your five card hand has three of a kind accompanied by a pair also. 
In this situation, our player has three aces for trips, with a pair of tens which upgrades his hand to a full house. When determining which full house may be better compared to another player's hand, you always look at which three of a kind has the higher numerical value. For example, if we use this, this exact same board, and another player called player 2 had two nines as his hold cards, for example, he would have three nines and two aces as his five card hand. Player 1's hand would be stronger, as three aces are more valuable than three nines. Now we move on to the hands that are extremely rare. It may take hundreds of sessions playing poker to achieve one of these hands, they're that rare. The first one is called four of a kind or quads. It's pretty self-explanatory, there's only four of each kind of card in a deck, meaning you need to have all four of these cards in your five card hand to achieve quads. In this image, our player has four aces, giving him four of a kind. The second highest hand rank is called a straight flush. It's essentially combining a straight and a flush, meaning you need to have five cards that are numerically in order and that are all of the same suit in your five card hand. In this scenario, our player has a straight flush using the 7, 8, 9, 10, and Jack, all being hearts. Now on to the Holy Grail, the pinnacle of Texas Hold'em, the Royal Flush. Ace, King, Queen, Jack, 10, all of the same suit. This is the best hand that you can achieve in poker. The odds of achieving this hand in a fair game are roughly, well not roughly, 649,739 to 1 mathematically. So yeah. The day you get one is the day to buy your lottery tickets because it might be years, if ever, before you get another one. Let's move on to a few examples. I want you to pause your videos before I go through each one. Let's see if you can get them right. Pause your videos in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so this certain scenario is pretty tricky. It may look like player 1 has the best hand, having 2 pair. However, if you look closely enough, the 5 community cards in the middle actually form a straight. Therefore, both players share the exact same 5 card poker hand, and thus split the pot. Any money in the middle will be split evenly between both players. On to the next one, pause your videos in 3, 2, 1. Okay, this one's also quite a bit hard. The 5 community cards actually have 2 pair on it already, with a pair of queens and a pair of aces. This means that the pair of jacks in player 1's hand are essentially useless, and he will just use one of these cards as a high card, as a jack, as his individual card to form his 5 card poker hand. Player 2 uses a king as his individual card in his poker hand, which is higher than a jack, meaning player 2 has the stronger hand overall. On to the last one, remember to pause your videos in 3, 2, 1. Okay, in this situation it looks like player 2 has the best hand to a beginner. Player 2 has 2 pair with a pair of kings and a pair of queens. However, this is the same situation as before. Player 1 actually has a pair of aces and a pair of threes, giving him a higher 2 pair and in turn a stronger hand. Once again, it's imperative to remember triple pair does not exist, although it may look nice. Hopefully all of you enjoyed this simple tutorial. Remember to subscribe if you want to see some more tutorials which will be coming in the future. Thanks for watching.